Hi, welcome back. Last time you made a men's shirt block pattern. Today we're going to manipulate that into a dress shirt and we're going to add nested grating, color coding, notches, and labels. Here's how it works. Lock your layers and make a new layer. And we're going to move it to the top and label it pattern. Now grab your pen tool, set the fill to nothing and your stroke to magenta at three points. Start here at the bottom of the armhole, and we're going to skip this first arrowhead and continue with these exact locations above. Adding any extra arrows will create problems when you grade the pattern, so make sure you only use these points. Go a little farther down than the hem here to create the dress shirt pattern and then you're going to come up here to where you started after first clicking in the middle to create the dress shirt curvature. Now select the pattern and switch it to a white fill. Then with the selection tool move it over to this artboard. Now let's do the pattern grading. Our grading is 2 inches as is indicated in our pattern measurements for the block. So we divide that across all four pieces of the bodice um, or the sloper, depending on what you're making. And that means that most of our measurements are going to be about a half an inch to grade. So totaling 2 inches. We will nest these by compiling them along the center line and the hemline meaning that the patterns get bigger across the chest and the shoulders mainly. Okay, start with your pattern in the center here and click and drag this layer to make a copy of the original pattern and then lock that original. We'll click and drag across all these five anchors with your direct selection tool. That's the center of the hem, the bottom corner, center of the side seams, and the top of the armhole. With all those highlighted, right click Choose Transform and Move. And this direction tells you which way you're moving. So on this, we're going to set the distance to 0.5, that's half an inch, and we're going to do it at 180 degrees, and that will move it that direction. Now with the Direct Selection tool, select the top of the armhole only. Right click, Transform, Move. And this one's going to go vertically, so set the angle to 90. And for this one, we're going to move it up a quarter inch for now. And then we're going to select the shoulder point. Same process, move it. And this one, too, is going to go up a quarter inch at 180 degrees. And then we're going to do that same point again, but this time vertically, moving it a quarter of an inch at 90 degrees. Together the shoulder and the top of the armhole equals our one half inch grade. Lastly, move the base of the neckline vertically 0.125 or one eighth of an inch. Now you're gonna do the same process for the next three pattern sizes at the same time. So select the second shirt pattern up here and copy it three more times. Okay, we're going to lock these top two. And then with the direct selection tool, we're going to drag across these five anchor points again. Those anchors are now selected on all three of the layers. So right click, transform, and move. We'll set the distance to 0.5 or half an inch at 180 degrees. And then we're going to lock the next layer without deselecting anything. And we will transform again. You can either hit Command Control D and repeat the last move, or you can also just right click and hit Transform again. And then come up here, lock the next layer, and Control D again. Now you quickly graded those anchors. Unlock the three bottom layers again, select the top of the armhole, right click, Transform. We're going to move it one quarter of an inch at 90 degrees. Lock the next layer, command control D to repeat the last move. Lock the next layer, control D again, 
unlock the bottom three layers and now you've done that section select the shoulder point move it 0.25 inches at 180 degrees lock the next layer hit command control D again and repeat the last move unlock the three bottom layers and then we're going to move this one vertically 0.25 at 90 degrees lock the next layer hit command control D and repeat that same process and we'll unlock the three bottom layers move the base of the neckline vertically 0.125 or 1 8th of an inch and repeat that same process lock control D lock Control D. Okay, you successfully graded this pattern. So let's add a seam allowance. Unlock all the layers. Turn off the visibility of all except for the top one. Direct select the outline. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and choose half an inch for the value, which creates a half inch seam allowance. Go up to Window and make sure Stroke is turned on. And in the Stroke panel, select Dashed Line and set it to 12 point dash and a 12 point gap. Turn the visibility off for this layer and then turn the next layer on. Select the outline with the Direct Selection tool and let's change its color to a cool color. Now go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and choose 0.5 inches for the value. That creates the seam allowance. And the one on the inside, again, it's 12 point dash, 12 point gap. Turn the visibility for the dashed line off. It's there because it shows up under the previous layer. However, um, if your pattern cutter needs it, they can just turn it back on. And that's why we make those. So do the same for the remaining patterns here. Okay, now we have a nested graded pattern. Let's create a notch for these. Accurate notches are important and they're hard to do in Illustrator. So we're going to make a new layer and we're going to call it Notches. Now grab the Polygon tool. And click in the artboard and make it a three-sided at 0.31 inches. Make a copy of that shape and place them side by side and so we're working on a back pattern so we want to have double notches that are staggered okay now select the first pattern go to the layers open it make a copy of this solid line and we're going to use this one temporarily lock all the other layers Grab the direct selection tool and delete the points here except for the armhole curve. Now switch it to a dashed line and make the dash 2 inches by 1000 points. And this makes an accurate measurement. You can see that point now and you know it is exactly two inches on a curve, which is hard to measure. So, so we're going to align our notches layer here onto this two inch mark. And we may need to adjust those with the rotate tool and the move tool. Make a new layer and call it two inches. 
drag the 2 inch sub layer from pattern 1 into it. Select it with the donut and the layers and change it to no fill. Move it next to the pattern. Make a copy of the notches layer, select with the donut, change the stroke to match the pattern, move the notches to align with the new 2 inch mark, and repeat this for all the other layers. Okay, now let's make labels for this. Create a new layer and call it text. Add the following information. And you can control the characters in the character panel here, changing their font size, color, and type. And lastly, in that information layer, let's add a line for the direction. Grab the line tool, click and drag from the top down let's set the type of line up here to taper okay and you may need to adjust your artboard um, the artboard tool here you can click and drag and you can also see which artboard you're on go to file export select the artboard and which one you're going to export with a white background and you're good you've created a nested graded pattern with accurate notches and color coding